Hey guys, I am Kyle S and in this video I'm going to tell you about a really awesome gig that I went to um, last night and I'm also going to tell you about um, a few updates about what um, will be going on um, for me and the channel um, over the next couple of weeks and um, some things I'm going to do and some more gigs that I'm going to go to. So, uh, last night, uh, I, um, I, um, sorry if you can hear, a, um, a dog barking. Um, so last night I went to a gig and I went uh, to see a band called Mud Honey. So before Nirvana and Pearl Jam and all those original uh, 90s Seattle bands, there was uh, there was Mud Honey and the Screaming Trees and a bunch of other bands. So it was a really awesome show. Um, they're very punky, um, just very punky and very, uh, Seattle. Um, and, uh, I had to, um, get the, uh, lift up to, um, the part of the venue where it was at, and, uh, that was near, um, the um the dressing room or the r basically the room um where um the band members would hang out and be before the show and after the show and all their roadies and people that helped them out um yeah so it was just a really good um gig and after the show um, we went that way, and, um, we were going past, um, like, the corridor or whatever, and, uh, I notice in, um, the room, the first room, um, basically, that was in, um, this space, um, the, the dressing room, I noticed that, uh, Mark Arm, the lead singer of Mud Honey and all the other, um, Mud Honey guys were in there. So I was like, hey guys, can I, uh, can I talk to you guys for a second? And, uh, they said, yeah, and, um, Mark, um, was like, yeah, um, come in and join us. And I, uh, told them my name and just chatted th to them for, um, about a minute and a half or more, um, just quickly, um, yeah, just quickly. So that was really cool. And I was just honest and, um, said that it was really cool that, uh, they're still around doing their thing because, um, some of the, um, some of the, uh, bands from these really famous, um, some of, um, the people from, uh, other famous, um, Seattle bands uh, um, not around anymore, um, like, uh, Taylor Hawkins, uh, the, um, from the Food Fighters, um, the drummer, and, uh, and, uh, Mark Lennigan from, um, The Screaming Trees, the lead singer of The Screaming Trees, uh, that I mentioned before, and, uh, and, um, yeah, and, um, Chris Cornell and, um, 
quite a lot of other people. Um, so I'm just really appreciative and glad that they're still doing their thing, basically. Um, so yeah, it was just a really, um, really fun gig and a really special night. And, um, I have to commend, uh, commend Mud Honey for playing, um, quite a few, quite a few tracks off their new album, as well as, um, their well-known song, so that was cool, and, uh, before Mud Honey played a band, uh, called, uh, Chalmers, um, played first, and that was just, um, a guy with a guitar, and a, um, um, and a, um, um, and, um, and a lady, um, drummer, so they did not have a, uh, um, a bass guitarist or anything, but they were just really awesome, and, uh, um, Pat, the lead singer of, uh, Chalmers actually talked to me, um, before the show, because, uh, we got there a bit early, so, um, the doors opened at eight, but we probably got there about, like, 20 to eight, or 15 to eight, um, so, yeah, he, uh, chatted to me, and, uh, I didn't actually know, um, that he was in, um, in, um, in a band, um, before we started talking, but he was just like, oh, uh, I'll dedicate a song to you, and, uh, I told him how pumped I was to see Mud Honey because I've known about Mud Honey um, for six years. Um, um, actually, um, yeah, a bit longer because I've known about them since 2017. But um, yeah, it was just a really um, special night and um, really a really fun gig, a really awesome gig, and I just want to thank, uh, Pat, um, from, from, uh, Chalmers, and I want to thank, uh, Mark, um, and the rest of the guys from, um, Mud Honey, that was really cool to chat to them for, um, that was really cool to chat to them quickly. And, uh, yeah, I hope they, um, enjoy Byron tonight because they're actually playing in Byron, um, somewhere. So I hope they enjoy Byron tonight. And, um, that brings me to my next point that, uh, the Smashing Pumpkins are over here. So Billy Corgan and uh, Jimmy Chamberlain, the original drummer, um, he's over here, and so is uh, the original um, lead guitarist, um, James Eha, and uh, with them is uh, their bass guitarist, um, Jeff um, Jeff, uh, Jeff, uh, Schroeder, so, yeah, I hope they, um, yeah, so, basically, they're playing, um, in, um, Brisbane tonight, um, for the first night of the World is a Vampire tour, 
and I actually met a photographer lady that was really nice and lovely, and uh, she um, is there tonight taking photos, so um, that would be really cool, and there's wrestling there as well, so the lineup is as follows, so um, Amol and the Sniffers, um, Red Hook, who I've heard a lot about, uh, Jane's Addiction, who are another Seattle band, and of course headlining is the Smashing Pumpkins. So I will actually be seeing um, the Smashing Pumpkins on um, the 30th of this month at Broadwater Parklands, the last date of the tour, uh, the last night of the tour. So I am pumped for that. And I will also be seeing um, Paul Kelly, um, and Missy Higgins and Bernard Fanning. Um, uh, next Saturday, the 22nd, so I'm pumped for that as well. And uh, my last thing that I wanted to tell you guys is tomorrow I will be at Gold Coast Supernova at uh, the Gold Coast Convention Center. So if you um, see me around, if you're going to Supernova as well. Um, yeah, if you see me and want to say hi, um, come say hi. Um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that. And Supernova should be great tomorrow. Um, so Stephen Amell um, from Arrow will be there. Um, Jim Cummings, who has been the voice of um, Tigger and Winnie the Pooh since 2000, he'll be there. And um, he's also the voice of um, Darkwing Duck from the 90s and a bunch of other characters. And... Um, Um, Veronica Taylor from, uh, who is the voice of Ash from Pokemon for the first eight seasons will be there. Uh, so that should be really awesome. Uh, I, um, I would, uh, like to see them and meet them. Um, so hopefully everything works out. And also, um... A um, writer that I met in 2019, Jodie McAllister, she will be there, so hopefully um, um, hopefully she'll be there and we can uh, chat. Yeah, it should be really good. Um, and, um, and, uh, And, uh, sorry if this has been a bit long and a bit rambly, but, uh, this has been, um, um, my Mud Honey, um, gig experience from last night, and also an update for the next couple of weeks, um, and, um, this Friday I will be starting a series called uh, Festival Experiences and uh, video one will be talking about uh, the Somersault Festival that was um, at Broadwater Parklands as well. Uh, so that, um, that was in February um, the 12th. So, um, Angus and Julia Stone, 
um, head, uh, headline that, and a bunch of other, um, great bands, and a few, um, solo people as well, so, um, yeah, that'll kick start on Friday, and go up to, um, and the last episode will be, will be me talking about, um, seeing the Smashing Pumpkins later this month, so it should be a good video series, and also, um, this, uh, coming Tuesday, the 18th of, uh, the 18th of April, um, Random Tune Tuesday will definitely be back after a long while, and I'll definitely be focusing on a Birds of Tokyo song, so that'll be really cool, and it should be really good, and also, lastly, um, I just want to say to everyone at, uh, Brisbane, uh, at the world is a bam, at the world is a vampire tour, have a really um, um, have a really awesome time, and I hope you have a blast. And uh, my actual last point is uh, just thanks for listening, and have a really good night. I will see you guys on, um, I will have the next video out this Tuesday, the 18th of April. See you guys, have a good night.